Yo, Kimari. Yo, Kimari. Welcome to another Synfic tutorial. And today we will be creating a countdown timer. Okay? And the countdown timer is essentially basically numbers counting down or counting up, you know, because if you wanted to create a count up timer, you could do that as well. But anyway, let's get into it. So first thing I'm going to do is go to my text tool and click within the canvas here. And I'm just going to type, it doesn't really matter what you type. You can type a bunch of um, nonsense and just click okay. All right. Uh, you just want to make sure that we have some text um, within this, the space here. So the next step is to go to the properties of the text and where it says text here, you want to right click that, click on convert and click on int string and that will convert that value to an integer. Uh, if you wanted to get decimal, decimal point values, you could right click convert and convert it to a real string. That way you get you know the decimal point um, values, but we'll keep it simple. We'll just work with the int string. Okay, and uh, if you open up this, right, you can see uh, this is this, we have two values here. We have an int and a width. If we should change the width, uh, all that does is, is it moves the, the value uh, slightly to the right. Um, so let me just undo that. We don't need to do that. And the int, which allows you to change the, the value here. All right. Now, uh, of course you can, you could animate it from here, but we'll just create a controller to make things um, far easier. So I'm gonna put this into a group and I'm gonna right click new layer, click on transform and click on rotate. And let me just position this over here and let's call this num underscore control so that we know that it's the one controlling the numbers. I'm going to put that in a group uh, we can rename these, but I'm going to leave them as they are. So let me open up this one here and click on the num control layer. And over into the properties, I'm going to right click on amount, convert, click on scale, open this up. And I'm going to change the scalar to, um, well, I'll stick to it with a uh, 30. And keep in mind that this value can be from one to, um, to whatever you want. Okay, this is just the value. Um, that allows you to, that tells by how much degrees this must be rotated in order to change the value here, okay? Uh, so let me go to link, right click convert and click on uh, integer here, okay? That is set up. Uh, so let's go back to our text layer here and let us go on the text, go inside here and where it says int, we want to, well, let me click on the um, click on the library here so we can see what will happen. So where it says int, we would just want to right click that and click on export value. And I'm gonna, let's call this, I guess, numbers or something. Well, no, let's just call, call it count. Click on export and it will come in our library here and if I should click back on my num control layer here and open this up, click on the link, we can see both values are selected. Well, just make sure that both values are selected, both options and right click over here, click on connect. And now you can use this to change the, the values here, right? So all we need to do is just to animate this. So to animate, let me go to my keyframes panel and I'm Going to delete the initial keyframe come to my timeline here and let's well let's begin at frame zero shall we i'm going to turn on animate i'm just going to move this up slightly just to add a keyframe and then uh, i mean it's up to you where you want us to, to end so i'm going to stop at this frame here and then i'm going to just move this around until we come to 10. so i'm going to have a well, this is counting up and I want to count down. So I'm going to just switch these keyframes. Like so, put this one down there, put this one here. 
So then it starts at 10 and comes all the way to zero. So let me preview this. It's moving kind of slow, but that is okay. And let us come here and play. And there we have our countdown timer. And of course, you know, you could do some fancy stuff with this. You could create a, a clock. Um, you know, it's up to you. You can um, think of a, a really cool design. You know, I mean, let, let me turn off animate. You could use a circle tool here and come into the, click on the advanced outline and just uh, design a line. And of course you could, could come into its properties here and uh, could change, go to dashed outline. You could change that to dashed outline, get some nice designs there, you know, and then you could just pretty much alter the values here to get some cool looking, cool looking stuff. And yeah, so I mean, yeah, it's up to you in terms of design. I'm just showing you how you would create the countdown timer. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. Um, and yeah, I will see you in the next one. Yo, MRD.